and hello YouTube, this is GS Mammoth Smart, and I'm here another brand new video for tutorial suggests. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Audacity and just a quick tutorial on a method to make your editing in Audacity a lot faster, especially edits where you're constantly doing the same thing over and over. Say you always place your music covers in Audacity and you always run the same effects on them. Say you have a podcast and you always run the same effects on your podcast, and then you export them. And now sometimes that can take a good 5-10 minutes of your time to just do these exact same effects on all the tracks you always upload. Well, there's an easy way to do this to actually just place all the effects into a sequence and with the click of a few mouse clicks, all of the effects that you usually always run on your tracks, you can easily just run at once by clicking one button. And that is chains. You can create chains in Audacity that basically take up a sequence of effects and whenever you use this chain it basically does that it basically does those effects and you don't need to edit anything you can just use the chain and your work is done so i'm going to show you an example on that and show you how to use that what you're gonna have to do is go to file and go to edit chains now in this table you'll see several well you see two chains usually they have an mp conversion mp3 conversion chain uh, which is fairly useful. You want to convert to an MP3 and you have multiple files. Uh, they already have that here for you. However, you can create a new chain here as well. At the bottom, click Add. And here you can then type in your name. So say this is for podcasts. Obviously, if you make music covers, you can name it uh, Music Covers or whatever. Now here at the bottom, you can click Insert. And here's a list of all your effects. Now, if you've downloaded a ton of more plugins and effects, you have a lot more here. I have a ton here because I downloaded a lot of them. But say for all of your tracks, you know that your microphone records at a fairly low volume. And every time you always amplify it by like three, right? So you can you can add amplify here. When you double click this, you can click edit parameter. And well, I always usually do an amplification by three, right? So you press OK and you press OK and automatically that basically changes this ratio. We can double check, as you can see, it stays at three. So that means you've added now one sequence to your chain. Every time you use this chain, it's going to amplify things. But let's add more. Say for all of your podcasts, you also usually do a compression. So we have a compressor here. We go and press OK. And if we double click, edit parameter. Say we always do this compression right here say this is the type of compression that we always do All right go and press ok again and we press ok again and now we've added two things say we also always do noise reduction now noise reduction is really good because all of us i i always use noise reduction a lot so for our noise reduction we can do the same thing we can set our parameters we can set our parameters here and we can press ok and we can press ok now we have three things added to our chain. Now, if you want it to automatically export, uh, do you want to save changes? Yes. If you want it to export, all we need to do is export to MP3 and just like they have it here. So here we can go insert again and we can find export. But as you can see, lots of different options here. So uh, here's export to MP3. We can press OK. And now what this will do, it, it will go from top to bottom. So export MP3 is the first one, but we want this to be the last one. So we're going to go ahead and move it down like there. Now we want noise reduction to be first. We want amplify to be first. So we're going to move that up. Amplify is going to be first. Then we're going to have uh, compression be next. And then we're going to have noise removal. Then we're going to have export and then it's going to end, right? Now if I were to press OK here, we'll have it saved. Now, whenever I open a file up in Audacity, I can simply go to File, go to Apply Chains, and I can use the podcast right here. And I can apply it to current project. It'll basically give me the result. Right here, it tells me where the file has been exported, and we can press OK, and it basically does everything. As you can see, the track looked like that before, and now it looks like that. So it basically did all the edits. Now be careful when you're doing uh, this with noise reduction because I have tried in the past. Noise reduction tends to be a, tends to be a bit fidgety. Uh, sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it'll give you an error. So just uh, be aware when you're when you're when you're editing your chain and adding a noise reduction. Uh, when you're doing this, make sure that you also get your noise profile because if you don't get your noise profile, then 
uh, it has nothing, it has no profile to get it from, and uh, essentially, you can't do noise removal. Uh, another cool thing about this feature is that you can even, if I go to apply chains, right, I can go to apply to files. Now, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, open up a new project first. And I can go to edit chains. I mean, not, not edit, apply chains, I meant apply chains. And I can apply this to several files. All, we, all you need to do is just highlight your files. And this will then automatically, a, a conv and then this will automatically actually apply the same chain to all of your files. So say you have several recordings of like little sound effects for some for a project you're doing, or say you have several uh, recordings for your YouTube videos, like an outro, an intro, or whatever, and you wanna, you don't wanna sit here and open all the files up and do the same effect on them. You can very easily just do this by applying it to all files. It's basically uh, batch editing here. So it makes it really cool applying chains and using chains can save you a lot of time not only with editing you know one track that you always do but also batch batches of tracks that you've recorded and you want to apply the same effect to all of them so it can save you a lot of time that's kind of the tutorial i wanted to go over it's something very useful and very helpful and quite frankly something that i've i have never even uh, used in the past but recently i've been using audacity and i actually found this uh, this this uh, option so I'm, I'm I'm using it I'm enjoying it it's definitely saving me some time and hopefully it can save you some time hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions or comments you run into any problems go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll definitely be down there answering any questions you have if you enjoyed this video if you liked it if you learned something or any of my other videos such as the software guides that I do in Photoshop or GIMP or other audacity guides you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon page anything as low as that is always very helpful and very much appreciated all you gotta do is click the card in the top right corner of the screen and it'll bring you to the page. If you haven't subscribed yet, go and subscribe. Plenty of other software tutorials coming to the channel. Plenty of other Audacity stuff already on the channel that I think you'll find helpful. And I also have a gaming channel, vlogging channel, music channel, and advice channel. If you want to check those out, links in the description as well as on the end card. And with that, thank you for watching as always. And this is GSMAN Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.